Ooh, don't forget I'm lubricated. Um, just a quick talk about the set, number hunter set. Uh, this is kind of similar to um, Asian Eyes White Dragons video, but it's just going to be um, about the main cards and if this set is any good and like what cards are the noteworthy cards because the rest are usually just junk. So I'm wearing a a black, I uh, know, a purple polo t-shirt with an orange logo, uh, some light blue modern amusement khaki shorts, and some high white Nike socks, and the shoes will be the uh, white grape fives. So we'll start the list here, uh, Chronomaly, nothing good enough to make them viable at all. Gimmick Puppets got an improvement, but the actual, um, you know, the effect monsters, not going to be anything. These heroic challengers, nothing helpful for heroic challengers. Don't use heroic challengers. Blue Mountain Butter Spy. So we're going to take a look at this card first. Um, so this card cannot be normal summon or set. When, a normal, when you normal summon a warrior monster, you can special summon this card in your hand. And it cannot be used as synchro. So this is basically a Kaito Kage for warriors only. And this definitely gives heroes an up. Um, I like this card in heroes. Um, this and Photon Slasher are really... Photon Thrasher. Uh, I mean, are the um, two techs you want to use in Heroes, I think. Especially um, with the card we're going to get it to next, Crazy Box. Um, heroes are going to... This, since it, Butter Spy is a warrior herself, uh, you can either go you can go right into um, Blade Armor Ninja, uh, Excalibur, or um, King Arthur is in this set, too. I'm pretty sure it's two warriors. We'll, we'll check them out later. So you can either do that, or you can go into Crazy Box and go for Eradicate Epidemic play. So that's really how I think heroes are going to top the meta. Plus, I, I run a build with Macro Cosmos and like Elemental Hero Voltic. So there's that. So you can kind of banish, which kind of hurts the meta a little bit. Heroes not, or Dragons not as much, but still better than nothing. And you might want to add, if you're running heroes in this, I think heroes are viable. Um, but you should probably try to add some more uh, super polys. Because with all the other elements, and heroes can poly basically with any of the um, attributes. You can either go on like Great Tornado, Ab-Zero, Shining, uh, Gaia, Nova Master, and Escrodio. Alright, so next interesting card. Be box of friends. These cards kind of go to like to go together. So box of friends, very hyped card. Um, basically, it's rescue rabbit for uh, normal monsters with zero attack or defense. So I used I'm, I made a, a deck for uh, vanilla monsters only or just normal monsters in general. Um, use this. I have um, also rescue rabbits basically, and then just normal monster support uh, like common charity or uh, not swing of memories, common charity or cry havoc. And things like that, and usually, basically, it's a, it's a rank five and four engine. Um, rank fours for just for the decent rank fours and crazy box uh, uh, eradicator plays, and rank fives uh, with you get out labyrinth wall millennium shield. Basically, it walls them, and then you can go for your rank five play. And Zombow Wow is just further support for that deck. Um, basically, you can just get out a a box of friends. So Go Go's are decent. Kylie 2 Kage reprint is good. Uh, basically, it's the same thing as Butter Spy, but for any deck. But you cannot. I wouldn't recommend it in Heroes because if you get Butter Spy, you have the option of going into Excalibur or Blade Armor Ninja, which requires two warriors. Curry Volt. Um, I'll go over Curry Volt. Not a bad, not a bad card at all. So you can target an XYZ monster, detach. All of its materials and special summon a curry bolt token in attack position. Oh, that's a fucking anime. Uh, you special summon an actual, actual uh, curry bolt. Yeah, so this just detaches one material from it. So basically, this crush is Ophion. Google goes are decent. Arcade Arrow Express is trash. Battle Warrior. <laughs> that that reprint. Um, Lionheart. Rank 1. Not really any decks to use the rank 1s. Alright, Giant Grinder. This is actually, I see this as support for Dark Worlds, because this really helps the Dark Worlds, because Dark Worlds already had the easiest ep ep epidemic play before Crazy Box, but this gives them an answer to the XYZs, and I really think that this, this really helps out, um, basically when I don't feel like playing top tier, like my top tier deck is Dragon Rulers, obviously, 
And then my spellbook deck is basically an Eradicator Warlock, like, you know, the Dark Magician thing. But then when I feel like playing less than the meta, not like, like a gimmicky deck, um, I use Dark Worlds or my, um, fuck was it, my uh, Fusion Gate Hero deck. Um, and now, especially with Crazy Box and Giant Grinder for Dark Worlds, those, um, decks, I think this is good support for Dark Worlds. Um, Sky Pegasus. And another decent rank four. I think I actually don't think it's a bad card. I actually like it. Um, if it had like twenty three hundred attack, this card would be very good. Basically, you can do a thousand burn damage or destroy a card. I mean, that really isn't that bad. It's. I mean, yeah. So it probably won't be like meta, like main deck, but look at these awful uh, master of blades. Really, this card I think is way overhyped. Um. What is one of the best cards of the set? Basically, <clears throat> when it's targeted, you can negate that and destroy a other card on the field. So, basically, this is for the Dragon Mirror match, or I guess playing spell books, you, they can't fate you. So, basically, I would just run one of these and maybe take out a Draco Sack and put in a Master of Blades. Crazy box. My god, this card is terrible, but 3,000 attack, Eradicator Epidemic Virus, all you need to know. If your deck spams rank 4s, or can make them easily, throw in two ra Eradicator Viruses into your deck, and a, a crazy box in your extra deck, bang, you're now competitive. Alright. So after Shadow Specters is released um, on Dueling Network... Uh, and then that'll actually be the that'll be the last uh, set of cards for the new ban lists. I think maybe a couple. <clears throat> so if that, I'll I'll check it again. But if it aren't really any main cards coming up for the next ban list, then I'll make my ban list video. But I want to wait for all the cards in to see how they impact the meta because I don't really know if Crazy Box Eradicator is going to be good at all. That like Coach King GN Trainer. I use this in my Dragon Ruler deck. Um, I know it's three rank eights, but you use um. Uh, beret, no, I think it's beret. The um, the little the, the barrel, the Karakuri barrel. You summon it with Galaxy Tomahawk, which is two rank sevens, and you uh, basically synchro three times and make three uh, burritos, and then you draw three with burritos, and then you overlay them for Gen Trainer. Draw three more and do up to twenty four thousand uh, burn damage. I like that in my Dragon Lord deck, is it people. It's kind of crazy. I, I don't want um, super rejuves. I don't like that build. Like I said, it's not fun. Like I like adding a little twist on my deck and giving me some more options, like some sinker options. And the GN Trainer is pretty cool because you can go plus six without super rejuves. But yeah, so I don't know how meta that is without it. And the, all the CXYZs, they really need some more support. Uh, nothing really interesting to run with them right now. So Comics King, King Arthur... Two level four warriors. Uh, we destroy a battle. You can detach a material instead, and it gains 500 attack. And you can deal 500 attack of uh, damage. So kind of like lead blow, the battle and boxer monster. I mean, uh, I don't think it's that bad because you can detach two. You do a thousand burn damage, and it's at 35. And it's at 3400 attack, which actually is pretty good. So I might add this into my hero extra deck, but I don't think I have the room. So we'll see. Um, it's CXYZ version. No, Night Pop out of no. Princess Cologne. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this goes with Box of Friends and the Vanilla Deck Iron. Basically, you especially you just you just get to recycle your Box of Friends, and it kind of has a little protection thing. So yeah, if you're running your Vanilla Deck and you're running Box of Friends, maybe throw in a Cologne. Oh yeah, and the, I use the rank the rescue rabbits also help because you really if you're running a rank five deck with box of friends you don't really have any ways to get out princess cologne so I run the rescue rabbits and the gem knights for the rank fours and then plus you can get them also with box of friends so that so you can either get a rank four or a rank five with box of friends or you can go into a rank four with rescue rabbit get box of friends from the grave and then get your rank fives. Then not not a meta deck it's just something I like to run a little bit. Uh, these are all just whatever. Um, overlay capture. Insect armor with laser cannons, kind of like I, I guess it could be by insectors. 
And so these are the last two cards. Overlay capture, target one XYZ, opponent controls, that is an equity material, and then equity monitoring control. Attached to basically some more Ophion and I guess Draco Sack. Again, basically, it does hit the meta except for uh, Prophecy. <clears throat> but Prophecy was hit with Crazy Box because that is another Eradicator target. This is, I think, this is a little too situational, but not the worst card. Because you, you, you get the target, so. Oh, he's best when you can't. Oh, I don't have the target. Number wall. To wait only if you control a number monster. Number monsters on your field cannot be destroyed by card effects, cannot be destroyed by battle, except with another number monster. Basically, this gives them the, um. This gives them the effect from the anime. Uh, so if you run a heavy rank four deck that just goes into rank fours and they happen to a lot, a lot of them be number monsters. I can't think of a deck that uses. I guess Utopia. You could use this in, the, in, the, in your ZW Utopia deck, which I also like to run, but too situational and they're already protected by the ZW cards. See, so yeah, I think this deck helps out the most. This gives a little bit of support. the The new archetypes are not good. Gimmick puppets. Anomaly, Heroic Champion, and Butter Spy. Nothing to write home about in the CXYZs. Um, not really a very helpful right now at this point. This is just not enough support for them there. Basically, you have to, to burn the two cards to get at least two cards to get out the XYZ, then another card, a uh, spell card to. I mean, that just burns resources, and really, none of them really have too much protection for themselves. So, yeah, CXYZs are they're coming, but not right now. Uh, new archetypes now. Basically, just the cards I pointed out. I mean, Dragon Rulers have some help like, against the Mirror Match, and I guess just overall. And Dark Worlds get a helpful XYZ. Two so, uh, spell cards, or I guess just overly capture, kind of hurts the the meta a little bit. And yeah, and then Heroes got their boost with uh, Butter Spy. To make rank fours easier, and basically any rank four spammy deck can now go into crazy boxes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and tell me what uh, what uh, you think the best card in the set is. I'm gonna go with um, Master of Blades, just because crazy box is a combo, and I don't really know. Uh, yeah, I guess it, yeah, yeah, Master of Blades is the best card in the set, so, but it's not worth forty bucks. Oh yeah, and of course now you can help, you can improve, you can basically make a deck all around normal monsters now. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, comment, subscribe for more videos. <laughs>